Hello guys, welcome to RC Techno Trends. Today we are going to learn how to install the Android Studio and uh, how to write the write our first Android program as well as how to execute that program on our mobile phones. Android application is nothing but so when I am going to have a already we have seen this one we have got we are we are we are going to have a uh, Facebook open so which is going to have an application is going to have one or more screens which are interactive to the user operations okay which are interactive to the user operations okay so right and uh, these things are going to be written using java programming language and xml and it is going to use the uh, one uh, important block, block for developing the android application which is going to be called as the sdk android software development kit so this sdk is very important to have to create any type of the android application okay and which is going to use as the android libraries and android application framework and they are going to be executed by the android runtime so android studio download okay developer.android.com is this visible to you right developer.android.com slash studio let me yeah so uh look here i'm going to have an android studio and a download android studio which is only for the windows 64 okay and if you here the latest version for the android is 4.0 okay latest bit latest version for the android is 4.0 so directly you can click on this download android studio and it is going to uh download an uh, executable file okay which is going to be like this so you need to click on here i have written agree and the download and uh, it is going to start the download android studio ide hyphen 193.65142.3 windows.exe okay so like this i can directly save file and it is going to download around 1872 mb uh, file and then you need to click, click on double click on that and it is going to ask you to uh, go for uh, some wizard uh, installation wizard and then you can directly install the application okay and after installing the application you are going to be opened with uh, the version 3.5 mine is version 3.5 it is not mandatory to have the version 4.0 and there you are going to find out some options called uh, starting a new Android Studio project and opening an uh, existing Android Studio project and uh, uh, check out the project from the version control. Okay, the version control is nothing but uh, I have 1.0 I have created. Okay, and later I have I have uh, gone for the 1.1 and I have 1.2 and in the 1.3 version I got a problem. Okay, then I need to roll back all the uh, versions. To one all the things to what version 1.2 then i can directly go for check out the project from the version control and i can mention which project i want to open and in which project version i need to open and the version i'm going to explain you in the so i can import the project from the gradle or eclipse adp and so on and now i'm going to open the import and android pro sample okay these are the sample program sample applications i can find out uh, i can find out from the uh, directly from the Android Studio. Okay, uh, can anyone can use the uh, sample course, right? Okay, so here you can find out the different different uh, sample programs. Okay, cloud doorbell. If you want to have any doorbell application, okay, then you can directly use this for Android things. I will take some mention. Okay, and uh, peripheral driver, Bluetooth audio, and so on, so on, so on. Okay, along with that, uh, uh, these are the things and these are the animations. Okay, and these are the app bundles and uh, these are the architecture. Okay, and here the background tasks, Z-Pack work manager. Okay, and the camera HDR viewfinder. Okay, 
and uh, for the connectivity you can have the beam large files bluetooth admin advertisements okay so if you want to share any large file in between you your friend and you uh, your mobile and your friend mobile like just like uh, share it okay you can directly use this blue beam large files okay and the bluetooth advertisements you can uh, advertise your own uh, things from your mobile to the your friend's mobile we are using bluetooth okay you can find the nearby nearby or nearby devices using bluetooth okay and you can use that bluetooth uh, uh, device to send some advertisement to your friend okay and the bluetooth chatting okay no need to have any whatsapp no need to have any sms or you no need to any, have any other third party applications okay you can create your own bluetooth chat and your friend has to your friend is also used uh, need to install the bluetooth chat application and there you can directly send a message using bluetooth and he will receive and you can directly chat with your friends and uh, like this i can have the different different sample codes uh, which are have been already uh, defined created by the google for us okay so here i can use the, the firebase which starts for android okay so directly i can use the firebase to uh, authenticate the users or store the user data and so on so on so on and uh, you can uh, have the sms verification application also okay and this is going to be this is going to be uh, you can directly find out uh, uh, the source in the github for some applications and uh, this is not only developed by the google okay but also we have been developed by the some of you some the use, uh, other users just like us they have created and deployed on to github and uh, submitted to the android okay and they have approved it and they have mentioned over here not the google developers directly google developer the students like you and the faculty like me or the uh, developers like us have already have developed their own application and uh, uh, put them into github and then they have down submitted to the google and they have approved and they have uh, they have made available this for us to use okay so these are the code lab uh, sample applications you can have for any thing and you can have the uh, media recorder okay and you can have the picture in picture and you can have the screen capturing application and you can have the video player application okay and uh, all these things are going to be there in the samples right so these many applications are there under samples sample code okay so i just want to show you this one okay and now what i am going to do is i am going to create a start a new android studio project okay which is the uh, starting application hello world application for us in c language in c++ in java or in any any other programming language or any technical subject where we can see the output there we have seen hello world okay as like that we are going to have android studio we are going to see an uh, hello world application which is going to be executed on our phone and display a hello world message to the users our users okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on so here from here onwards you need to write down the steps okay the first step you need to create any application is you need to find out the android studio and open that one. okay all right start a new android studio project here you are going to find out the uh, screens for your application how the screen how the screen should be uh, defined for your application okay so uh, i want to create an android application i want to create an android application and here i want to display a message over here the message is hello okay right so this is my screen and in the screen in the middle of this screen in the middle of this screen i want to have a uh, small label which displays hello world 
okay so here i can have options like add in no activity i don't want to add any activity i can add my on my own okay next uh, basic activity okay which is going to have a menus menu okay and a button floating action button and a back button okay and next uh, an empty activity an empty screen which is not going to have any elements okay and uh, bottom navigation main activity which is going to have a bottom navigation options called home okay settings and about us and contact us and so on so on so on okay and along with that i can have a fragment view model or i can have a full screen activity or i can have a master detail flow or i can have a navigation drawer activity okay and uh, like this i am going to have different different uh, screens for my application okay so uh, what i what we are going to do is when we are going to create an application whatever the application or whenever we are going to create an, a new activity there we are going to create only one we are going to select only one activity called empty activity we will never uh, worried about the basic activity bottom navigation activity or any other okay except uh, for the uh, this one navigation drawer activity okay if i if i want to have a navigation menu then only i am going to have the navigation drawer activity otherwise i can have for every application for every screen i am going to use only empty activity because an empty page can hold anything right an empty page can hold anything i can have a header i can have a footer i can have a uh, image i can have a text box i can have something i can have something i can have something so all the things are going to be uh, embedded uh, in, included into an empty activity for that purpose i am going to create i am going to select empty activity for every application and for every screen i am going to use okay and the next one is uh, this is the phone and tablet purpose and if you want to create an application for wear os okay wear os that means a mobile a uh, smart watch or a tv or an android auto or an android things okay then you can select the activities according to but uh, in our mobile application development we are going to create other applications for only for the phone as well as tablets okay we are going to create applications in mobile application development okay for only phone and tablet okay and say next okay here you need to mention your application name okay so what i am going to do is i am going to mention my application name as first activity okay i am looking at the package name i am looking at the package name here i have some different package name but you are going to first uh, whenever you are going to open for the first time you are going to have a package name called form dot example dot the application name in all small letters without spaces okay so here when you are going to have a form dot example okay then the google play store is not going to access your application to deploy into deploy it on to the play store so for that purpose you need to mention your package name it's better to have form dot all ticket number dot first activity uh, com uh, your package name should be form dot all ticket number dot the application name don't change this one don't change this one you need to change only this one which you are which you are all ticket number 05871a0536 all small letters no capital letters for the package names okay there you can have 17k41a0 something 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 okay and i am not going to change this one for my sake okay this is you need to change rc info sub solutions i am going to have like that okay and the save location is going to where you want to save the application 
And here I'm going to have the language option where I can have the Kotlin as well as Java and I'm selecting the Java. And the default uh, language option for your application when you are creating for the first time is Kotlin, not Java. Okay, and say finish. The application is starting and opening. So, so my Gradle build has been completed, okay? And there is no problem with my Gradle build and uh, the Gradle model version is 5.4.1 and NDK version is not have been defined for my project, okay? Right, so, the Android Studio, are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Yeah. Look here. So the IDE, it is an Android IDE, which is going to have the project structure, okay? So here, uh, this is the, yeah, yeah, okay. So this is the project explorer, okay? Uh, where I'm going to find out all the uh, resources, uh, files related to our project, okay? And this, yeah? Click here. So, uh, I'm going to start from the scratch of the Android Studio IDE, okay? So, which is a, what is an IDE? IDE? So, the IDE is nothing but integrated development environment where I can write the program, okay? I can write the program and I can check out what are the files which are related to my program, okay? And I can execute them directly from there without having any, without typing any command or any instructions has to be given. Okay, directly a single button or single uh, shortcut key or a single mouse click. Okay, and I can have different, different options which are going to be available integrated in a single environment. That environment is going to be called as an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. And here, as I have already told you, so this is the editor of every file. So this is my Java file, okay? And this is my XML file, which is going to display the screen of my application, okay? And uh, this is my project explorer, project explorer, okay? And this is my file menu, okay? In which I can have two options called build, Okay, so where I can build my application to be an executable pro applica executable uh, file and I can use the run option to run my application on a selected environment. Okay, so like this, I can have all the things into my, in a single place. That's why it is going to be, it is being called as a uh, IDE, Integrated Development Environment. And coming to the editor, sorry, coming to the explorer, okay? So here, I'm going to have app, okay? Before that, look over here. When I click on this one, okay, the Android, after Android, I have a drop-down menu, drop-down button, okay? There, I have different, different options. The project, packages, project files, project source files, project non-source files, and problems and Android. Okay, so these are the different different uh, structures to be displayed according to that. Okay, if I'm going to select the project, okay, this is not an Android application, it's just a project which is going to have different different folders. Okay, so my, my project name is first application, okay, in which I'm going to have as it is going to be available in the normal explorer, normal file explorer, it is going to be displayed as it is as it is, as in the normal file explorer, which is going to have different folders, okay? And in the different folders, I can have different, different files, okay? But every time you need to select the Android, because which is going to be organized, which is, which are, which is going to be organized all the files into an Android application format, okay? In the Android application format, I can have the manifest, manifest files, 
okay the manifest file is going to contain all the information of your application okay and after that i can have the java files okay in which i am going to have different different java program files of my application okay and later in i am going to have a java file java folder which is going to contain the generated java file okay what is going to be generated i am going to show you and uh, later i am going to have the res folder the res folder is nothing but res is nothing but resources and the resources have been the, uh, again classified into the drawables that means the images which i want to display on my application and the layout that means uh, the screens i want to have in my application the screen design screen layouts and make map the elements the uh, icons and uh, the uh, uh, images which i which is going to be displayed on displayed to the user as part of the application and the values okay the uh, what are those the global values the global variable values to be displayed into this file like this i can have my application a organized as an android application which is going to have the manifest and java and resources and all these things and later the gradle script is nothing but the gradle information which we are going to see in the uh, third module okay so like this i am going to have the different different things in my explore okay and next coming to the editor coming to the editor okay so the editor is going to contain the normal uh, files to be opened into the editor okay so the java files and xml files okay along with that i can open the normal uh, uh, drawable files also okay so like this i can open all the things into my application okay and here i need to discuss about the two files two types of the files the first type file is xml as i have already mentioned you in the last class okay so the xml file is going to contain the screens information i want to develop an application which is going to display a message to the user okay so this is screen is going to be developed with the help of xml let here this is my screen this is my phone screen okay and the way i can find out a element okay an element on the screen in the middle it is going to display hello world it is going to display hello world okay so this is going to be this information is going to be available in my xml and the java file is going to contain the events and the code to control events is that clear is that clear the xml file is going to contain the screens and the java file is going to contain events as well as the uh, code to control the events okay and now what i am going to do is i am going to create a i'm uh, i have a already i have created a layout file okay in which i am going to develop the already existing uh, hello world text okay now what i am going to do is i am going to same thing i am going to display the same hello world message same hello world message on my empty screen okay and the hello world is going to be displayed using a widget using a widget and the widgets are going to be available in a palette what is this going to be called as this is going to be called as a palette which is going to contain different different uh, widgets the widgets are nothing but elements which are going to be displayed on the screen which are going to be displayed on the screen okay so here the palette i can have different different types of the palette common text buttons widgets layouts container 
uh, Google legacy and so on so on. So I want to have a text view. So I'm just going to drag and drop it onto my screen. It onto my screen. Is that clear? So what I have done, just I have selected the text view from here, from my palette, and I just dragged and dropped it onto my screen. And I can keep it wherever I want to have on my screen. Clear? Right? So in the text view, actually in the, as a text, it has a text view option. Okay, in the bottom of the screen, I'm going to find two tabs called design and text. Design and text. So the design is nothing but which is going to have the design of the screen and this design is going to be displayed in the form of text in my text tab. Okay, and this text is nothing but the XML code. XML code is going to contain user defined tags. The user here, we are not the users, we are the developers and the users here are the Android developers, Android Studio developers. The core team which has developed the Android operating system, they have designed some tags to perform some operations. Okay, so we have those tags. Right, and this is a constraint layout, okay, and this is a text view. Okay, in HTML, if I wanted to display a text on my screen, then I'm going to have a label. In HTML, I'm going to have a label. So, in my Android, HTML and what? Okay, here I have a label and here I am going to have a text view. Okay, here chapter T, chapter B. Never forget XML is a XML is a case sensitive language. But HTML is not. Okay, so text capital T, capital V, text. And I wanted to have a hello world message over there. So I can change the Android colon text value to H E E L O W O R L D. Hello world. Done. Right? Okay, my team is completed. What I want to display? I want to display hello world on my screen of my mobile phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this application, run this application in my Vivo Vivo 1804. Look here. This is my phone name. Are you able to see my phone name? Right? And after that I have a play button. Okay, I'm going to click on run app. Okay, the Gradle build is running now. Convert on the Gradle build running. Okay, so it takes some time. Uh, uh, allow them, sir, now. Yes, the Gradle build has been finished. Eh? Okay, and install also successful, successfully finished. So, what I'm going to show you is, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open application on the screen. Look over here. What is happening here? Where I have kept my text view? Coming to my mobile phone, coming to my application. Okay. I have aligned it to the center. Yes or no? Mm. One second. So, yes or no? Where it is? It is center. in the, it is in the center. But look here, I got a red mark over here. Can you the red mark? Logged it. 
right emanaru this view is not constrained it only has design time positions so it will jump to 0 comma 0 at run time unless you add the constraints so as we are using the constraint layout as we are using the constraint layout we need to constrain the up view on the screen from the four sides then only it will be in the center of the page or the center of the screen otherwise it will move directly it will jump directly to the 0 comma 0 of the screen right so what i am doing here is i am using a constraint widget okay so directly i am dragging and uh, aligning it to the top okay and uh, left sorry right and left and bottom now it is being on the center of the screen because when i when i'm going to have two forces on my two sides and they are drawing on the same with the same force from the two sides okay i will be on center so what i'm doing here i'm stretching it on from the left right top and bottom okay it is going to be aligned on to the center the constraints are going to be mentioned like and when i'm going to run the same thing on to my phone on to my phone okay the application is being installing and now the activity has been launched and now it is on the center of the screen it is now on the center of the screen so like this i can constrain all the elements on my screen to make where exactly they can position on the screen that's why it is called as the constraint layout okay so like this i can create a new android application and i can execute on i can run that application on my mobile phone okay guys so this is about today's class and tomorrow